the new quantum labs. So not only has the United States been investing in fusion research, not only have we been pushing now for to be the leaders of AI, we want to win fusion race, but they also just opened five new labs, or I couldn't really tell the full context. We'll read through it here. Five labs that are now going to be heavily funded for specifically quantum research, which is amazing because all of the technologies we've been talking about are quote unquote quantum, quantum technologies. I would even say that the thermal sampling unit that the uh, extropic guys are working on—that's a quantum chip as well. They're just calling—they're just calling it something else for branding purposes, in my opinion. Don't at me. Don't at me. Here we go. Energy Department announces 625 million to advance the next phase of National Quantum Information Science Research Centers. So new funding here. The renewal of the DOE's National Quantum Information Science Research Centers advances President Trump's directive to restore American leadership in quantum science and technology. The DOE is aligning its quantum research enterprise with national priorities, focusing resources on advancing critical R&D across the American QIS. That Oh, that's, that's what we're calling these. Okay, so these things are called QIS strengthening the quantum innovation ecosystem, accelerating discoveries that power next generation technologies and securing American leadership in quantum computing hardware and applications. Now, guys, once again, the apartments in the sky rise in always write about everything city are filling up very quickly. This is not something you want to be on the wrong side of. We are spending over half a billion dollars pumping that into quantum technologies for good reason, because we know these technologies work. The Department of Energy already knows they work. The military already knows they work. We wouldn't be pumping half a billion dollars into something like this if it was just a wild goose chase. This isn't just like one lab. This is like five labs. This to me is so significant. Because we're lit, this is like how how do governments battle over information and technology? This is how we say we're going to invest a bunch of money in this technology that's kind of like cutting edge that people aren't really that that the public isn't really investing in because they don't know it's real. There's afraid that there's risk associated with it. President Trump positioned America to lead the world in quantum science and technology. And today, a new frontier of scientific discovery lies before us. Breakthroughs in QIS have the potential to revolutionize the way we sense, communicate, compute, sparking entirely new technologies and industries. I mean, there you go. Sense, communicate, compute, and new technologies. Quantum sensors, quantum computing, quantum communications, and teleportation too. And we'll just throw a little teleportation in there as well, guys. I mean, the, the things that they even call out here are pretty specific. The renewal of the DOE's National Quantum Information Science Research Centers will empower America to, to secure our advantage in pioneering the next generation of scientific and engineering advancements needed for this technology. The point of these research centers is to support fundamental science with disruptive potential across quantum computing, simulation, networking, and sensing, develop unique tools, equipment, instrumentation that unlock transformative quantum technologies, advance quantum technology through application to the DOE's most pressing scientific and national security challenge areas. Hint, hint, national security. So here's the new centers, okay? Co-design Center for Quantum Advantage. They've got special acronyms. The government loves their damn acronyms, chat. C2QA. This is at Brookhaven. So it looks like each lab has been connected to an existing DOE lab. So, of course, it's happening all at DOE laboratories. I should have should have known. Fell for it again, award chat. Fell for it again. Thought that this money might be going to, you know, third-party businesses. Nope. 
Nope. Fell for it again. Going straight back to the DOE labs. There it is. <laughs> okay. Brookhaven will advance quantum computing and sensing by improving materials using superconducting and plasma grown diamond based quantum devices. Okay, chat. What? They said it right there. Improving using materials used in superconducting plasma-grown diamond-based quantum devices. Yeah, okay. I'm interested in that. I'm interested in that. So we know all about superconducting plasma-grown devices. I don't know about all of that. But it does say developing modular approaches for superconducting and neutral atom systems. So yes, this one's really interesting. Put Brookhaven on the list, guys. Put Brookhaven on the list of national labs that we have to be following very closely. Next one, superconducting quantum materials and system center. I'm already excited. SQMS. Sounds like some B and D, uh, some, yeah, uh, dominatrix stuff. Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory. That's probably another national lab, right? Will scale quantum devices based on superconducting microwave cavities. What? Developing new methods of refrigeration and technologies for connecting many quantum processors to lay the groundwork for quantum data centers. How is this real? How is this real? Most people are going to read this and think that this is just science fiction Star Trek shit that they're saying right here. But we know exactly what this is. Superconducting microwave cavities. I mean... If Charles Chase is not somehow connected to this, I'll be surprised. Charles Chase is either talking to the people that are doing this or he had a direct hand in this himself. Because it seems like they're talking about his coherent matter wave beam patent, superconducting microwave cavities, new methods of refrigeration. This was the other thing that I was going to talk about earlier, but then I went back and you guys need to watch. Somebody linked the live stream where I did the review of Yochiro, Yurichiro Taka, whatever his name was. No disrespect to him. Smart scientist. Where he explains how we can change the laws of thermodynamics so that cold flows to hot. AKA a new air conditioning system which just basically acts as a heat pump, which would be a new method of refrigeration. A new method of refrigeration where if we use relativistic motion, we can force cold to flow to hot when normally hot would only flow to cold. So anyway, I think that one's interesting because it talks about new, new re refrigeration technologies. The next one, QNEXT. Argonne, Argonne National Laboratory will advance algorithms and chip components to scale quantum operations on the same chip across different labs and cities, preserving entanglement and prototyping next generation quantum sensors. So these two both seem to be connected also to um, the quantum internet, the ethernet. When we finally get the ethernet online, guys, this is probably going to have major connections to it. Keep in mind, the normal internet was started from the government, from the military. So the quantum internet, the ethernet, will also probably start from places like this, where they're literally building quantum data centers, and they're going to connect the quantum data centers together. Next thing you know, you've got an ethernet. You've got a new internet chat. By the way, when we, when we get the new ethernet, quantum internet online, I think we can all agree we're going to burn the old internet to the ground, right? We're going to do like the office space thing. We'll take the old internet out back and old yeller it, right? Just get rid of it. Make sure it can never come back. Make sure there's no Reddit. Reddit is not allowed on the ethernet. I get one rule. I'm the person who started the name ethernet. I just get one thing. So I'm not asking a lot. Reddit is not allowed on the quantum internet. That is not allowed to exist. It can, it can only live on the old internet that we're going to get rid of. The next one, that was QNEXT. That one doesn't get an acronym. That one just gets a weird abbreviation. The next one is Quantum System Accelerator, the QSA. This one's at, national, at Berkeley, Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. So they're all national labs. 
will enable large scale quantum computers through improved air correction using neutral atom, ion, and superconducting circuits to tackle DOE grand challenges in fundamental physics, chemistry, and emergent quantum phenomena. So a lot of these are pretty similar to one another. And then the last one, Quantum Science Center, QSC, is at Oak Ridge. Isn't Oak Ridge the other nuclear facility? I think there's there's two, right? And I think Oak Ridge is the, the second one. I could be wrong, but I think it's Oak Ridge. Um, so Oak Ridge National Laboratory will pioneer quantum accelerated. Yeah, Lawrence Livermore and Oak Ridge, I think, are the two. Could be wrong. Anyway, sorry. We'll pioneer quantum accelerated high performance computing, developing open source software for quantum classical workflows that accelerate specific scientific advancements across multiple disciplines. Uh, open source soft quantum software. Hmm. That one I know the least amount, but my guess is people that are in AI are probably more familiar with this last one down here. So to finish this up, it says the awards were selected by competitive peer review under DOE National Laboratory Program Announcement for the National Quantum Information Science Research Centers. Total funding is $625 million for awards lasting up to five years, with $125 million designated for 2025. Wow. So... My last thoughts on this were, holy crap, how do I get in on this? Is there, did you guys see that movie War Dogs? Where I'm pretty sure the whole premise is they like figure out how to finagle the government, the military's like bidding system. And then they just basically buy the guns and resell them for a profit. Is there some way we can do that with this? Like, I don't want to be a scammer, but like, it's technically legal, right? Like, how do you win one of these awards? How do we make a fab lab, start building some microchips? 